afternoon, everybody. February 18th, day 30 of my ketogenic journey. Um, yes, <laughs> feeling fair today. Um, I, actually, this is a take two of, vid of, of this video. I had um, shared some medical issues that um, I've recently gone through, but I decided not to, I decided to just wait to share those because I don't want to jump to any conclusions. But anyways, I'm so excited. Today is day 30. I've officially been on keto for a full month. So, usually around the uh, second month of me doing keto, I start seeing some real results. So, I'm hoping that uh, that is the case this this round. Um, I just picked up my uh, extra large coffee, black coffee from uh, 7-Eleven. Um, I do recommend if you have a 7-Eleven near you, um, it's really good with uh, for keto for us ketoers. It has a lot of keto options that you could choose from. And if you sign up with their rewards program, you get little discounts and you can earn points and get free items. So every day I put my number in and my extra large coffee comes to a dollar. And every seven coffees, every, um, the seventh coffee of the cycle is free. So the only thing that sucks that about 7-Eleven is they try to make you, like when you earn the points and it tells you, okay, you get, you got two bags of free chips you could get. Yeah, you could get a free hot chocolate. You could get this. They try to, you know, make it really specific. And, you, like, you have to choose um, a 2.75-ounce bag of potato chips. It can't be a 2.75-ounce uh, bag of, like, um, pork rinds. It can't be anything else. It has to be potato chips. And I'm like, I don't eat potato chips. I got away with it one time. The guy, he didn't know. He was like, oh, okay. And he just, you know, he gave me two bags of uh, pork rinds. I guess if a pork rind isn't considered a, you know, snacky chip like that. It is to me. It's my it's my potato chip. If you're on keto, pork rinds is your, it's, it's our potato chip. Wow, this dude's going this freaking fast. Hurry up, slow poke. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Getting on this highway here is such a headache. You could be sitting there for like five minutes trying to wait for somebody to let you in. And nobody ever lets you in here in Jersey. They're just all rude. So, um, yeah, going on month two. So I'm really hoping to see some results. With the fasting, I feel really good. The whole bloated feeling that I was experiencing before I started keto again was terrible. You just felt the fat. You just felt the the um, the the bigness. It's like I just felt like a giant brick wall with legs and arms walking around. A bloated brick wall. That's what I felt like. And now I'm starting to feel a little lighter, a little, it's easier to bend down and um, just pick stuff up off of the ground. I still do have a little grunt, but it wasn't like before. Like it was getting to the point where at work, um, sometimes I have, since I'm in management, I have to go and grab things out of the cages in the back in the warehouse. And the cages have a lock at the top and bottom. And if I had an associate with me, I would have to ask them, can you please bend down there and unlock the bottom lock for me? I can't do it. Dang, I need to put air in my tire. Got all my food for the day. Probably um, try to take a break at about 5 o'clock again. And uh, we will do the darn thing. Uh, so, yes, I'm so excited. I've made it to 30 days. Guys, please root for me and encourage me to keep on going because I got to do this. So many people are succeeding on keto. And, you know, sometimes I look at the past. I'm like, oh, my gosh, I started keto in 2017. I could have been on my go away by now. I could have been like a maintenance mode, yada, yada. A journey, a struggle, 
a, a, a daily fight to keep to lose weight and keep it off I'm in the fight so we are all in it together and uh, I wish you guys all the best today stay keto and just keep on pushing um, don't let anybody tempt you to eat things that are non-keto like people at work do <laughs> my buddy came up to me and he was like Kevin I ordered some pizza so this is the best pizza in Jersey. It's the best pizza in Jersey. You gotta have some. And I was just like, oh really? <laughs> I was like, and I'm thinking I could take the toppings off. But I mean, who's gonna waste a good slice of pizza? If it's supposed to be the best pizza in Jersey, I'm not gonna waste it like that. And I was just like, oh, okay, I might come back there. I might, I might, I might check it out. I waited a long time. I went back there. <laughs> Every single slice was gone. I was like, yes! Who gets happy about? <laughs> There being no more pizza left. This just sounds crazy, right? <laughs> but I, I get happy. I get happy. Yes, there's no more pizza left because now I don't have to be tempted anymore. All right, guys. Enough rambling. See you at lunch. Hey, guys. It is going on 6 o'clock. And I'm taking my break finally. I have my casserole in the microwave here heating up. And we're going to eat and chillax until it's time to go home. See you at the house. <laughs> nice! Oh, this... Jack, look! That is hot! Ah! It's beautiful! Wow! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Came to get some 647 bread for babe. Six grams of net carbs, 40 calories, seven grams of fiber. Not too bad.